Gemini rising September 2024 shows that you're making professional, mature, kind of grounded decisions about your work, your money, and the future of your career. So if you are excited to dive into what we can expect this September for you based on your rising sign, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Erin. I make videos on astrology and also music. So if you want to check out my readings or courses and anything else astrology I offer or my music, check that all down in the description below. So we'll start out by looking at what the astrology has in store, then we'll pull a tarot card and see how that all comes together. So we start out this month on the 2nd with a new moon in your Virgo fourth house of home or family. This new moon is not great. It shows blockages, something delaying you or stopping you from what you're trying to start. For you, it's about home or family. So if you're trying to start anything around the house or with your family early on in the month, it's probably going to be either delayed or stopped. Also from the 2nd to the 4th, Mars in your first house of self is scoring Neptune in your 10th house of career. This shows that while you were trying to be aggressive, direct, and assertive with your goals and what you're doing this month, there is some confusion, manipulation, or dishonesty from your career. So something is confusing you or being dishonest and delaying you with career. Then on the 4th also, Mars will be entering your Cancer second house. With Mars in your second house for the rest of this month, it shows that you're working very hard to make money and you may be running into more blockages or issues financially than normal, specifically if you were born during the day. This probably shows that you're just going to be working hard and trying to keep afloat more in this month than usual. On the 6th to the 7th, Mercury in your third house of day-to-day -day writing, communication, and work is going to score Uranus in your Taurus 12th house, showing that you could feel as if your mental health is kind of all over the place to start out this month, and that is leading for you to communicate rather erratically or have trouble communicating directly and groundedly. Groundedly, I don't know if it's a word. Then from the 7th to the 8th, the sun in your Virgo 4th house will oppose Saturn in your 10th house. This shows that even though you're trying to focus on family stuff for this month, there's a lot of blockages or things in the way career-wise that are leading you to make some really dire decisions. So even though you're trying to do stuff around the house or with your family, career shit is definitely like blocking you or being kind of a Debbie Downer in your life right now. On the 14th to the 15th, however, Venus in your fifth house will try and Jupiter in your first house. This is great for actually creative stuff, party stuff, and dating stuff to be going really well this month. And it shows that your optimism and your glass half full energy is actually really helpful for you in terms of keeping afloat and being thankful, particularly in the middle of the month. And it shows probably romance and like partying going well. Then on the 17th, there's a full moon in your Pisces 10th house. This shows an ending, a letting go, and a departure of a dream about career. It probably shows being realistic and drawing a boundary in order to remove any dishonesty or feeling used or feeling naive about something career-wise. On the 22nd, the sun enters your Libra fifth house, adding even more attention and energy into fun and dating as we get into the last week or so of September. And on the 22nd to the 23rd, Venus will score Pluto in your eighth house. So do be aware of the potential financial manipulation that you could uh, there might be a feeling or literal financial manipulation through a romantic partner or through something about creativity in the end of this month. With Venus squaring Pluto around the 23rd, you could feel as if you're being pressured, manipulated, or played by a romantic partner or a creative partner with your money and your investments. On the 23rd, then Venus enters your Scorpio 6th house, showing that in the last few days of the month in October, there's going to be more harmony and more like good energy around your physical health and working out and people that you work with. Then finally, we end the month on the 29th to the 30th with Mars in your second house, trying Saturn in your 10th. You are finally rather grounded and working hard financially and on track with career by the end of the month to be really, really mature and focused. If you already have any thoughts, feelings, or predictions for this month in your life, leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear how you're feeling and what you're expecting. The tarot card that we have here for Gemini Risings this month is the Three of Swords reversed. So you guys know I have this tattooed. I'm not going to show my ribs right now, but three of swords upright shows betrayal and being scared and being like your heart's being pierced. This shows no one's going to betray you. You, the contract does not happen. You do like, you do not get in a position to be betrayed. I think cause you dip. I think you dip before you can be betrayed. I hope that you enjoyed this and that you have a cute September. It's a little bit of a rough all over the place month, but we're going to get through it and uh, see how that all manifests and happens. So if you have any comments for me, leave them down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, do all the things. It does help. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Oh.